Rock the Ripple. Rock the Ripple. The Rock the Ripple Podcast with Narita McInnes. Let's do this. Hello and welcome back to another episode of the Rock the Ripple podcast. I'm your host, Narita McInnes. It is so awesome to be here with you. And as you know, if you listen to the first episode of this podcast that I have just created, which is very exciting, I'm so glad you're here. I am kicking it off with pulling an idea from my notebook to sort of jam on and see where it takes us. So today's note is from, is actually on a sticky note and it is from my A3 book. And the note says, watching the bees in the bush fuss and buzz about the flowers. How different must the world look to them? And oh my gosh, how true that is. The perspective that a bee has compared to what we might have. Very different. Two very different things. So I guess where that note was going was, and where that idea was going was, I had this, I remember because I was sitting there watching. In fact, I've just looked up and the bees are buzzing about those flowers right now. How different must their world look? And it really got me to thinking about how our worlds look incredibly different to all of us. Our perspectives are just that, our perspectives. And we might see things one way, whereas other people might see it another way. And if you're a bee, how massive would this world look? Or would they even know how big the world looks? I mean, yes, they get to fly around and buzz about, but they're hanging out at the tree with the flowers. And I guess we're a little bit like bees in the sense that we buzz about our own little worlds. We hang out in our environments. We socialize with the people that we socialize with. We interact with the same people at the grocery store. We see the people in our community and we are part of our own little buzzing area of life. And our perspective really is based upon what it is that we've experienced, what we've learned, what we've gone through. And there is so much that all of us have gone through on different levels. And many of us have gone through some very tough times and some of us have gone through not as much. It depends, you know, maybe you're younger and you haven't been through as much, or maybe you're younger and you've been through more than the average person ever sees in a lifetime. It really is a perspective. It's not quantifiable really because everyone is in different places. And I guess that's sort of where, you know, if you're like me and you see and have explored what's going on in the world and that sort of stuff, you can see that there are some people who are very aware of what might be going on and there are some people that aren't. And I love the way that my healer friend used to explain it. She would say, it's like some people are in high school and some people are in grade four and you can't get annoyed at people who are in grade four because they're not in high school. They're just not there yet. And that's what it is, I guess, when you're looking at a bit of the spiritual awakening and what's going on on the planet is that everyone is at different levels. And it can be frustrating because you think, how do you not see what's going on here? How do you not know or see that? But it's not there for them to see. And neither one is right or wrong, by the way. How can they be right or wrong? If you're in year four, you can't be wrong for being in year four. And if you're in high school, you can't be wrong for being in high school you are where exactly where you need to be. So that's why when we're looking at what's going on out there and also within, of course, because everything starts there, we can't get annoyed. We can't get frustrated. But what we can do is use that frustration or that anger that may come in to A, look at where and within that we need to heal or we have some anger that we want to deal with or to use it as a catalyst to create something better. If something shits us, That's an opportunity for us to change, grow and evolve. It wouldn't be there otherwise. Things come to the surface in order for us to see it, in order for us to do the healing, in order for us to look at. And sometimes some of the stuff that comes to the surface isn't fun and we don't want to look at it. But when we do, when we acknowledge what's there, we're able to create change if we choose to. And I think that that's what can happen for all of us. I mean, ultimately, we're all here to grow and evolve. And our journey and our paths are different to everyone. That's why there should be no competition because there's millions of people doing podcasts right now. There's millions of people who write books. There's millions of people who decide they want to do something or other. It doesn't matter if they're doing it and you're doing it because all of us have our own unique offering. All of us have something different within. And I think it's one in four trillion chances of us being born and on this planet in the first place. So the fact that we're here doing this, we are exactly where we need to be. We are supposed to be here. We're here for an incredible time 
on the planet. We're here for the Great Awakening. And that is happening on all different levels and it's unfolding in all many different ways. And that's the thing too, there are infinite possibilities. So the way things unfold for some people will be different to others. It'll be different for every single one of us. And some may have similar paths and some may have very different paths. And that's why, you know, if we are the bee that's buzzing around the flower, we're only buzzing around that part of the flower of the tree, which to the bee is ginormous. And for us, we're buzzing around our world, our community. And that that right there is just one part of our absolutely ginormous world. Looking at things and putting things in perspective, our perspectives are always going to be a bit different because of where we live, what we experience, what happens on a day to day. And I think that's the beauty of just noticing things in nature, like noticing the bees doing their thing, noticing that like the seasons, we have seasons as people. Nature can teach us so much. You know, there's times when there's all the leaves are all fallen off the trees and it's just time for to just be in that space of perhaps retreating or just being and not being so outwardly there. And then there's times where it's the season of trees with leaves looking bloody spectacular. It's just bushy as <laughs> it's just looking amazing. And then you've got the times where all the leaves on the trees are changing color and look absolutely beautiful and magnificent. And that's like us. We're humans who live on this planet with nature. We're the same. We can't always be bushy leaved and shining brightly. There are times when we do need to retreat. There are times when we go through tough times where not everything is always flowing or amazing. They are tough times for a reason. But that's part of the human experience. The human experience is to experience everything. We didn't come here just to experience only the good. Otherwise, we wouldn't know the good without the bad. And of course, good and bad is what we put meaning to. So we choose what is good. We choose what is bad. Ultimately, at the highest level of consciousness, everything is love, of course. But when we're here having this experience as human beings, transforming and growing and evolving, we experience all different types of emotions, feelings, experiences along the way and that's all part of it and some are just beautifully tough and some are beautifully ecstatic and there's so many different levels and layers along the way so many different emotions that we all experience and I think if we remember that and think of nature as we're going along in our lives and we're faced with whatever it is that we're faced with it's good to remember that And sometimes it won't help in the moment and sometimes it will. And that's the beauty of life as well. I don't know. I just feel like looking at the bees and seeing them doing that, I guess that's where that note and idea came from in my notebook on the sticky note there. It just sparks so many things. I think, I mean, we can look at anything and anything in nature is there to tell us a story, to give us more insight on ourselves and to get us to understand ourselves better and to remember who we are on a deep, deep level because we really are, as I say so many times, magnificent creatures who are powerful beyond measure. We really are and we're here experiencing this time together. And I am so grateful that you're here experiencing this with me and being a part of my podcast that I am learning to do as I go. It's very exciting and it's another perspective, another angle for me to look at life through the life of a podcast, chatting with you, having a good old fashioned chin wag, seeing what flows through from a sticky note or a note that's in my notebook my one of many notebooks and just seeing what flows out. So I am so grateful that you're here being a part of this. I love this. If you have, you know what, if you have any sticky notes or random notes that you too write down, please feel free to share them with me. Perhaps that's something that I can also jam on in future episodes. You can catch up on all the podcast episodes over on my website at naritamckinnis.com. And obviously, if I ever need to link to anything, that will be in the show notes under the episode. So if you like this episode, please give it a like or a review. That will really help me out wherever you're listening to this too. And yeah, aside from that, thank you again for being here. And I can't wait to catch up and have a good old-fashioned chin wag with you next time.